Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, be sure to hit that subscriber button. Shout out to all my existing subscribers, my new subscribers. I see you all, I love you all. Also be sure to subscribe to my podcast at The Dima Podcast. Podcast for the latest, the greatest, just everything. You're welcome. Okay, I'm back again with another Sephora bag because what else did you think this was, honestly? I'm super excited to try these products today. What did I get? I picked up some Huda Beauty stuff huge fan of huda beauty but i will be honest i only have her eyeshadow palettes that's it i believe i don't i think beautiful beautiful brand she's an amazing boss lady i love what she's done for the middle eastern community she's huge in the makeup community in the field um so i'm excited to try some of her stuff she recently launched a new concealer. This is the Huda Beauty Fox Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. I'm a sucker for concealer, so you already know I had to pick that up. But while I was at her counter, I picked up a few more things. I got this Glow Wish uh, Luminous Pressed Powder. I also got this Cheeky Tint Blush Stick situation, which we're going to try and we're uh, probably going to love. I love blush. So I got two lip liners because the colors were beautiful and yeah. This is my first time trying these products. You're going to get my honest, full, first-time impression. So if you are interested in seeing how these products work for me, then please continue to watch this video. So we need to get the hair out of our face. And today I'm going to use a headband because why not? We're just going to look like we're ready to play a basketball game or something. Maybe go do a yoga class. I've prepped my skin. All I have on is some foundation. Today I'm wearing the Dior Backstage Foundation. This is my go-to. I've done a video on this. You must check it out. It's amazing. And I put on some mascara and just my eyebrows. That's it. So everything else we're going to try together. Of course, per usual, I have my receipt here. So I'm going to give you the exact U.S. price for these products. And then I'm going to tell you if it's worth it or not. Alrighty, These receipts are just so long. Do I have coupons? No, it's just a survey. Make sure we're giving people their surveys because it really goes and measures against their performance and we want people to be rewarded if it's deserved. Concealer. I love concealer. I love full coverage concealer. This is the Huda Beauty Fox Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. It's up a color 2.3 G and I'm pretty good at eyeballing kind of my shade so let's hope that it works. I do like a brighter concealer under the eye and I put it everywhere. So Huda Beauty has the Fox Filter Finish uh, Foundation and when it comes to foundation I am not a fan of like a heavy coverage. I like a dewy soft light wear foundation so that I can apply thicker things on top like this and not feel cakey. Concealer cost 29 US dollars not bad pretty average and it comes with a pretty cool applicator and there's a good amount in here I do love the packaging it's like a frosted packaging with her brand name on it right over there oh it smells really interesting I don't like the way it smells at all it smells like how makeup smells when it gets old it smells like clay like okay well I hope it's not old <laughs> all right so we're just gonna go ahead and apply this directly under my eyes with the applicator, I like to just go in a little bit. This is a matte concealer, so if it does come off a little dry, that's expected because it's going to dry matte, and we'll see how I feel about that. So the color looks good. It looks super bright, but I'm into it, and it's very full coverage. Like, a lot is going on. You definitely don't need a lot. You can go on with one or two dots, but I like to go all the way in. Why not? So she is a good color. Let's start blending. I'm just using a damp beauty blender. She's blending nicely. Not too bad, but we're just going to keep going in here. So don't be alarmed at how bright my under eye color looks. I actually prefer it that way. When I put on bronzer and stuff, it will be fine and it'll all come together nicely. Uh, she blended really nicely. It doesn't look very uh, patchy or cakey and it doesn't feel too dry. So the coverage looks really nice and heavy, which is what we want for a thicker matte concealer and I will say this side was sitting on here for some time and it didn't dry up which I love that because that's like the ultimate test for me when I'm doing concealer like if I'm putting it on other aspects of my face and I'm blending one side and it dries out too quick and then I have to like really go in with a heavy hand and try to blend it out I hate that but this blended out so smoothly so I love that definitely some extra points for that when's the last time anyone put concealer down the bridge of their nose I don't even know why I did that I normally don't do that I guess I was just like having the best time okay so let's just blend this out overall blends nicely on the face really into it I think it looks great I think it blended nicely it feels good on the skin I definitely hate the way it smells I like want to go smell the other ones and at the store to see if they all smell that way or if I just got like a bad one all right so the concealer is not bad not bad I, I I like it I would use this if I'm really trying to cover some stuff up if I'm having like puffiness 
dark circles for the day, things like that, I think you'd really enjoy this. Overall, pretty standard, not like, oh my God, this is magic, but like, yeah, I mean, it does the job. It's matte, it's full coverage, it blends nicely. It's not creasing, which is huge. Like normally thicker concealers crease, but this isn't creasing. The color is nice. There's a selection of colors. Also, she's really good at, or her team's really good at um, just being inclusive with like all shades. I'm just gonna do a quick warming up of the face so I can apply her blush. I'm just using the Merit Beauty. I love these foundation sticks. I use it to contour. I'll put the link below. This is the color Tiger Eye. I've been obsessing over these, using these to um, warm up my face. So it's like a nice little applicator like that. It's actually like a foundation stick, but a little goes a long way. Look at that. See how nicely that just brings the color and warmth back into your face and like a little goes a long way. It blends so smoothly. I know this is off topic, but I'm just saying if you're in the market for like a new foundation stick or like a contour stick, uh, I will link this on the description box below. You have to check it out. I have some dimension back in my face and I'm not looking too washed out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try this Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint Blush Stick. This is in the color Perky Peach. I am a sucker for blush sticks, liquid blush lately. That's all I've been using. I saw that she had these and I was like, okay, let me try one. The color I actually wanted, they didn't have, but I wanted to just try it in general, see if it's even worth it and then go back and get more if I, if I love it. It does cost 25 US dollars, so let's see. If it's worth it, I'm gonna directly just put this on my cheeks and perfect, you can't see it. So it's not giving as much pigment, but you could kind of see it. It's also a lighter shade, so I don't wanna take away from the product just because it's a lighter color. Just using a beauty blender and blending this into my skin. I love the glow. Wow, that is dewy and stunning. Um, she does have a selection of colors, so you can go darker if this is too light, but I just like it as a base anyway. I go over it with more powder blushes, but it's beautiful. Like I can, I'm gonna definitely go get the other colors and see how it looks. It's dewy, it's pretty, it's not like cakey, but it looks great on the skin. It has like a glowy tint to it. It's really beautiful. If you have much lighter complexion than I do, then this color specifically will look great on you. I feel like it's a little too light for me, but I'm gonna try out the other colors. I definitely like the product in general, not bad. Also, smells like nothing, so we love that. Okay, so the next product I have is this Glow Wish by Huda Beauty Luminous Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Fair Light. This is a $33 pressed powder, and I use a lighter shade like this for my under eyes. Um, my current favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder, but I'm in the market for a new one, so I picked this up because I wanted to try it. And before I even put powder under my eye, I like to use a press powder first to brighten it a little bit. So we're gonna try this one and see if we love it. I'm just grabbing a fluffy, kind of flat brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this product. A little fallout, but not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and place this directly under my eye and see how we like that. And oh, this is really nice. You see how immediately it brightened under my eye and like mattified it? Sometimes if the pressed powder is good enough, you don't even need a translucent powder to set your under eye. Because this concealer is more thick and matte, I don't foresee it getting too oily. So a pressed powder just might be enough. To have a pressed powder to take with me in my purse just to touch up throughout the day, because I do get oily, and this one is a nice one, and it's also a good coverage. Like you can see already, it like brightened up my under eye. Wow. This is, I love this. Wow, she's a keeper. Glow wish. I should have wished for more. This powder is really amazing. Like, look at that. My skin looks mattified. Literally, like, there's a filter on it. I do have pores in this area, so it, like, filled in those pores. Come on, I love that. 10 out of 10 on the powder, 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some more blush. This is just the Sephora um, blush that was, like, viral. I did a video on this. This is the color Heated, and it's the closest to this pinky orange color that this stick was. So I'm just gonna put some of this on top just so like, I like wanna see more blush. I need to have more blush. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab some of this blush and continue to build it on my face just to bring some more color into it. See how just a little goes a long way. We love that. I put blush on my nose too because like I want you to feel like I got a sunburn. I love that look. You know how like girls do the sunburn with the freckles? I don't have the freckles and I don't have the patience for that either. So the final products in this haul I grabbed two of them, again, similar to blush. I like keep it in the same family of colors. So I do browns and pinks on my lips. And then like on a rare occasion, I'll do red, but like that's never, so I never, I won't do red. These are $19 lip liners, pretty average, pretty standard amongst the lip liner family. Um, but yeah, the colors were pretty. It's called, a, it's a lip contour. Absolutely love the packaging. This is a nice, like big pencil. Uh, it's not a pencil actually, it like scrolls up, which we love that. I like, we need to retire 
um, pencil sharpeners. So brands, please start doing your lip liners this way and everything else. Oh, I just have some chapstick on, nothing else on my lips. I'm a sucker for lip liner. If I could, I would put it all over if the color is good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and take, this is the color Pinky Brown. Almost looks like the exact color of my lips, which I love that. That's not a bad thing. Good technique when you do apply lip liner. I always put like a lip primer or like a chapstick or something under it. It always feels easier to apply. That's just the lip liner by itself. That color is absolutely stunning. I love that color. What's so wrong with lip liners? Like, it's, it's a hit or miss, but in general, there's nothing wrong about this one. I think it's great. It's a good price. The color selection is beautiful. It feels good. You can even pair it with a lipstick. I almost like it by itself like this. Um, it does feel smooth because I did have chapstick on, but I feel like even without chapstick, it should be fine. And you know what? I'm wiping everything off so I can apply it without the chapstick so you guys get an idea of what it feels like on its own. Second color I picked up is the color Rusty Pink. This is much more pink than the first one. That one had like a nice brown undertone to it. And I'm gonna put this directly on my lips. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's like really pink. It definitely did not look this pink when I saw it and the packaging looks much lighter. I do like to do like a lip liner this bright with like a nude in the center. I'm just grabbing any nude lipstick I have and I'm gonna go over it and it should make like a prettier soft pink color and that I'll love. This is just the Morphe um, Kissy Face Matte Lipstick. You see how that just made it a little less pink and like more nude but like a really pretty color still. So I don't wanna hate on the lip liner. By itself I definitely can't rock it but It'll be a nice lip liner to pair with a nude lip and still make a pretty color like this at the end. I'm actually not like disappointed. And that is it for this video and all the products. I'm actually really impressed. Um, I absolutely love the concealer. It's sitting well on the face. I love the lip liners. I think the pressed powder is like if you need to get anything that will be a must from all of these products. If you're looking for a new pressed powder, even for like a foundation powder on the face, you can get a warmer color to like suit the rest of your face. The powder in general is really, really wonderful. Flash stick, I, I liked. It's not as pigmented as I hoped, but again, the color is much lighter. I think if I try darker colors it'll it'll complement the skin it looks good it has like a dewy finish to it and it has a glow to it so like even if you don't put on highlighter which I don't have on right now it gives your face like a nice dewy finish also looking at my skin and nothing feels cakey I still look like myself I don't feel like there's a lot of overlap amongst the products and in general I think everything's great I'll comment down below if you've tried any other products of this brand that you recommend what you love what you hate I have listed all of the details from everything I've used today in the description box below and as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.